Well, wedding week continues here on Tennessee Mornings, and today's segment is perfect for me because I'm engaged. I still haven't come up with a venue or date or really made any decisions on how I want my big day to look just yet. But not to worry, wedding planner Angela Prophet is helping me and all you other brides to be out there this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So what is your best advice for choosing a wedding venue? Well, first you have to start with your guest count. Start okay. with your guest list. And then look at your budget and see what kind of look and feel that you want, the atmosphere that you want to create for your guests. So try to just plan your budget around your dream day. Yes. Okay, and I know you've transformed some amazing venues. Let's take a look at some of the projects, the pictures that you've worked on. Yeah. Um, I know the Country Music Hall of Fame was one of those locations. We'll get a look at that. I mean, I can see it behind me. Look at that. It's just unreal. Tell me about that concept. Well, this was actually, well, this was a private home wedding, but oh, there we go. Oh, there's a couple. This is the Country Music Hall of Fame. That was a not-for-profit. But we have a lot of, it's, it's real modern. There's a lot of glass. There's a lot of rock. And Lighting is key in here. Lighting is very, very important, but it can look so different. It's such a cool space to work with. It's absolutely gorgeous. And how about this one? This is actually the Union Station. You know, a lot of brides say, oh, I don't want to get married in a hotel, but they offer so much. There's, You have your china, your flatware, your glassware, your tables, your chairs. You don't have to bring any of that in. And with just some And drapes. your guests can stay there. Oh, absolutely. And so if all your guests are coming from out of town, it's very convenient, so you don't have to pay for transportation. Well, that's really cool. Gorgeous pictures. I mean, I'm getting so Thank many you. ideas here. Look at that one. I love that. That was at Front Porch Farms. It's about an hour outside Nashville. So transportation is very important, and you can get an impersonator, you know, country music impersonator to entertain your guests as, as they're driving there and back. Well, entertainment is very important. Outdoor weddings are really popular, and winter weddings, not as popular, are they, as spring? Spring's definitely more popular. Absolutely. You have to have heaters. But look at that. It has such an intimate feel. It does. It's just a, a fun, different setup. We like to do fun, unique things. I have so many ideas, but what do you suggest for planning your ultimate wedding on that budget? Well, Pinterest has really helped, I think, brides create a vision and create a focus. Mm -hmm. And so I, I tell people, do start a Pinterest. Don't go crazy with thousands of pictures, but find a focus and find what's most important to you and list your priorities. And then that's how we determine where the money is spent. Well, that's perfect. I know my first step for planning my dream wedding is to just buckle down, pick a date, pick a venue, get a wedding planner, yes. and get to work. I think the guest list will be the hardest for me to just figure out. What do you suggest for narrowing down a guest list? I tell people, if you're dropped on an island and there's no Facebook, no Twitter, no phone, who would you miss? And that's your A-list. And, and if, if you're, no matter where you're working, where you go to church, where you work out, like, would you stay in contact with those people if you moved? And if, if the answer's no, they might be on the B list, not the A list. Well, thank you, Angela. That has been some great advice for me. You're and you welcome. can visit our website, fox17.com, to get hooked up with Angela's website. Some wonderful tips for me and all you other brides to be out there.